I want to touch on uh, one other aspect. Uh, on June 30th, 2015, uh, Amnesty International published a fairly comprehensive report about the horrific human rights violations in Kashmir. What was of particular note was the fact that uh, not one uh, Indian military uh, officer or soldier had been uh, arrested or tried for the horrific crimes uh, that they had committed against the Kashmiri people. Uh, despite the fact that uh, uh, Amnesty International published this report, uh, we didn't see uh, much uh, coverage of this in the uh, in the Western media or any Western governments paying any attention to this. Why is that? Uh, sadly, uh, that has been the case that uh, in the past, Amnesty International Physicians for Human Rights, Asia Watch, have all published reports uh, in terms of abuses of human rights uh, and uh, uh, disappearance, extrajudicial killings and uh, rape, uh, which has been used as a uh, war uh, 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 a tool uh, against uh, the people. Um, well, frankly, uh, if you look at uh, Anjana Chatterjee's uh, report on mass graves uh, in Indian-occupied Kashmir, and, you know, here people can say, uh, you know, when Pakistan or any Kashmiri organization is producing any reports that these are uh, Muslims or Kashmiris who are doing this, uh, Anjana Chatterjee is of Hindu heritage, her husband is of a Jewish heritage, and they're both American, uh, and their report is very clear about um, uh, disappearance and mass graves and uh, uh, burials uh, in these graves. Amnesty International's recent report, uh, of course, identifies those police officers and army personnel who have been raping, killing, extrajudicial killings, disappearance, forced uh, disappearance. But it also identifies those black laws that give them the power uh, to arrest people and indiscriminately fire at them and, or do whatever they want. Uh, and uh, they, they get uh, immunity from prosecution. And sadly, uh, it is because, and that's why they are calling for these laws to be abolished, because uh, they give the protection to uh, these uh, soldiers uh, for perpetrating these war crimes against the Kashmiri people.